Hello, welcome to my channel. I finally finished my mum's journal. So I'm going to give you a quick flip through before it gets wrapped up and taken round to my mum. So on the front I've just layered up a collage of music paper, plain paper that says memories, um, some cheesecloth, some different lace trims and this key. And I've got this, oh sorry, excuse me, sorry, that was Lily, my granddaughter. She's with me today and she's got a little bit of a cough. Do you want to wave? Hello. <laughs> That's a good girl. Right, so this um, key, I stuck it um, down with glossy accents and I covered the whole lot. And it's given it this nice, tough um, sheen to it. So we've got a nice ribbon enclosure. The journal has five signatures. Um, oh, I didn't. Oh, sorry, she's got a cough. <laughs> Bless her, she's only seven. Um, yeah, I didn't count the pages, I'm sorry. Um, and I can't really stop filming and count them because <laughs> I've got to get ready to go out. Right, so I've put a little calendar here because my mum, I don't know whether she's going to want to just use this to record certain memories you know like just a memory book or whether she's want, going to want to use this as a diary um, for the year I don't know so I've put a little calendar down here because my mum has always kept a diary as long as I can remember so I thought she'll like that in there and I've done a lot of um, journaling cards and tags they're all backed onto coffee dried paper and um, I especially love this one it's the copy of a letter from 1741 um, I am sorry for the background noise as you know I've got my granddaughter here next to me and I've also got um, my four kids at home and the other two grandchildren all downstairs so it's a bit hectic but it's lovely um, I had a go at eco dyeing. It didn't turn out great, but I like some bits. So I've cut up a bit small, made a nice little notepad, and also most of the newspaper articles or advertisements are from 1940, the year that my mum was born. There's the odd one or two that's older, but there's nothing newer. Oh, sorry about the door squeaking. That was Lily. She's just gone off somewhere. <laughs> um, this says, We are all immortal as long as our stories are told. I think I heard Nick the Booksmith use that quote once, and I really liked it. So, yeah, down here, I've altered one of these little envelopes um, with a bit of decoupage that I've really been enjoying doing since I got some... Um, lovely napkins off of Amy over at Crafty Cat oh, right, and I've just put a little letter in there to my mum um, about why I love her and yeah why I made this journal I've used quite a bit of Edith Holden in here because my, when my mum saw the first journal I ever made she was in awe of the Edith Holden images and yeah she fell in love with them so I've used quite a bit in here I've done a nice waterfall effect here. Uh, hold on a second excuse me darling come in or out though because that door really squeaks so come in and push the door to thank you darling I'm oh, sorry about that so I've done this lovely waterfall and there's all pictures of my mum and her family her parents and her sister when she was growing up I've left lots of blank pages for her to journal in. Oh, this is a floating pocket of an Edith Holden page for the month of February with a Coleridge poem and it says Fair Maids of February and she's painted those. And so I made this journaling tag and the reason I chose this poem for February for the floating pocket is because that's my mum's birth month. So I thought she'd like that. Um, I've reviewed quite a bit of lace trim. 
some lovely daffodils here because there's a bit from Shakespeare down here about daffodils. So I thought she'd like those. My mum has always been into her garden. So she'll love all the floral images. This is my grandma and granddad. Um, sadly, they're no longer with us. But yeah, they're my mum's parents. And I thought she'd like these images of family. So that, yeah, it can inspire her to write things. This is my dad when he was in the army doing his national service. Looking very handsome in his uniform. Um, my mum, when she was young, I'll just go through quickly. Some old um, book page, nice image there. And I chose that image with a ship because my granddad was also in the Navy. Oh, I made that little tuck there with this one of these little decorative circles that I got from Amy over at Crafty Cat. This is one of those hidden stuffed pockets that I did on camera last week and yeah I've got a few different tags in here um oh these little perfume bottle um labels are from Victoria Designs that was one of her free downloads so yeah check that out that was fantastic I love them and my mum loves her perfume so she'll love them also and yeah more wildlife and florals Tracy Fox style tag. Right, I'll try and speed through all these family images I think my mum's going to love. I cut out this on my die cutter and I cut some little flowers and I think that looks really lovely and as I said my mum's always been into her garden so I think she'll enjoy that. <laughs> Amy, do you recognise this washi tape? This was on the gift wrap from my happy mail last week from Amy over at Crafty Cat and I just saved it made it sticky again with my Yoohoo and yeah I've used some in there nice little flip out there of my mum and dad's engagement party <coughs> you alright sweetie? yeah one of those little fold outs um, I credit Yvonne Preston for that because that's where I saw them first of all I don't know where she did say that she got the idea from someone else as well a lovely double page spread there that I really think she'll adore what else have we got here um, doily that I dyed with food colouring oh, so cute with my mum and dad on the beach um, and another journaling tag and here um, this is just an envelope that again I've altered and I lined it with that beautiful picture of a butterfly so that when she takes the tag out or if she wants to move the tag to somewhere else she's got that lovely image to look at some of my oriental book more advertisements than Edith Holden I got this tag from Amy as well and I tied a little butterfly to it. I think that looks wicked. More book page. As I said, lots of um, writing area. My mum used to tap dance as a child. So I've included one of those pictures. More Edith Holden. Where are we going? Yep, and more advertisements. Lovely sheet music that I bought um, last week. And, oh, sorry about the noise in the background. My kids are calling to each other. One's upstairs and one's down. But, yeah, I got this lovely sheet music last week from the Vintage Paper Company. And they're really reasonable. I got a big batch of it. And it was beautifully decorated, um, wrapped, rather. Um, tied up with lo lovely ribbon and a little bag with lots of little cut out hearts of different sizes all in sheet music which I thought was a lovely little um, finishing touch you know <coughs> this is a picture of my kids when they was 
little kids <laughs> when you know you um i don't know if they do it everywhere else but we used to have photographer come into the play group and they would dress the kids up in these clothes so it looked like it was a hundred year old picture when it wasn't but yeah that was my four kids when they was little and my mum always adored those pictures on my wall so i scanned one we've got more tags we're getting near the end now <coughs> another little tuck spot here a little robin another one of those pockets that i did on camera and yeah another one of those perfume labels from victoria designs my parents again here we go we're getting near the end now that was my dad doing his national service as well and i haven't fully stuck this down because my dad's handwriting is on the back saying me on the wall outside our room and seeing as he's no longer with us i got a bit sentimental seeing his handwriting and i think that that would be lovely for my mum as well to sit and look at because it feels you feel closer don't you well i don't know if everyone does but yeah for me that's how i felt looking at it i felt really happy another lovely double page spread there of edith holden i've got here another loaded pocket this time made out of the oriental paper and another one of those lovely perfume bottles I'm getting towards the end another picture of my parents the altered envelope that i made last week or this week on camera with a photograph you know in the olden days they used to make them into postcards this is my granddad and again it's got his handwriting on there yours sincerely ralph and he's in his navy uniform which i think my mum will really love and here we are with at the end signature i've got a little robin there my mum loves robins another picture of my parents my grandparents and that's a little tuck behind there um another article from a 1940s newspaper which i thought they would interest my mum oops sorry my lighting um one of those ice cream cone tags a poem and i found in amongst a lot of really old photographs an old birthday card from my grandma and my auntie and then neither of them are, any, uh, are with us anymore and it's to my mum for her birthday and they're using their nicknames to each other um my mum couldn't say rosie or rosemary and so she used to call her rowie and they called her boo boo and you know when you see something think that i've saved the best till last really because i found that in a box that no one's looked in for years and years so my mum will be so pleased with that so yeah that was the journal for my mum i just want to quickly show you what lily has been working on um yes yeah, thank you darling all by herself and so I thought this was amazing this morning she's made an alien and look, you can move his arms and her, well her arms and legs she said it's a little girl alien a little baby one and i just think that is just <coughs> brilliant i think it's really lovely and also what she started making last night she used a piece of the eco dyed paper and she's done this all by herself the only thing that i did was she asked me to punch the holes and put a rivet in um and there was a couple of other things she needed a hole punched in because it's quite a hard tool but this is what she started so far and yeah look i punched a hole in here so she could tie on all these hearts but she's made this by herself like the little tuck pocket here um that's just as where she's got up to but she's seven so for all anybody out there wondering 
oh, would I be able to make my own journal? I wonder if I'd be able to do it. Yes, you can, because Lily has started this last night, and she's seven, and look at the ingenious way she come up with to, because she hasn't got a sewing machine, or she can't push the needle through, or use the sharp objects like an awl. She's used thin washi, and she's wrapped it around, and it holds everything in place. So that was really ingenious for someone that's seven years old. This is where she's at so far, and I'll probably come back on another video and show you the finished article, because as I said, she's seven. So if you're wondering, just give it a go, you know, because you'll surprise yourself. She's give us give it a go, and look, she's made a gorgeous charm, and yeah, she's just doing brilliant. So I just wanted to share that with you, didn't we, Lily? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Say so thank you, darling. Thank you very much for watching. That's a good girl. And I'll be back with another video soon. Come on, wait, bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.